I think um, a lot of my comments, at least on TikTok, are, why are you so mad at Jenny? Why are you so mad about Jenny Marcus? Max is a little, she's a little mean. Um, she goes there a little bit, a lot of drama with Meng. Um, what was your reaction reading some of the like back and forth with the girls and were you rooting for them to make up sooner? Do you think it was the right amount of time and was it just so fun to play kind of so over the top? <laughs> Honestly, I remember reading the first script and being like, wait, they don't make up yet like i was like what and then deb and sarah told me it wasn't until episode four and i was like no what because i love working with them and not getting to do scenes with them sucks <laughs> um okay. i understand where max is coming from i really do she's 15 we got to remember that she's also a very dramatic little girly so i think she's dealing with her pain the only way she knows how which is to you know be a little nuts. <laughs> um, I also think that her pain comes from not the fact that she's like Ginny's dating her brother, but more the fact that Ginny didn't tell her because Max is huge on loyalty. And that's something I want viewers to understand the most is that it's, mm -hmm. it's about Ginny. It's about lying. It's about that. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> and honestly, being mean to them sucks <laughs> like having to look at them and kind of be an a-hole is like the worst but she, luckily they all get it and they understand and we give each other a big hug afterwards so no bad blood on our set <laughs> we dance it out TikTok dance it out um she does do her best to come around to it when you know later on in the season when she's watching them date and she she forgives with a funny way were you relieved because I feel like the Marcus and Ginny stands are probably pretty intense on the internet so we need Max to you know me give them a chance yeah I think um, a lot of my comments at least on TikTok are why are you so mad at Jenny? Why are you so mad about Jenny and Marcus? Um, and I know, I get it. Jenny and Marcus are so freaking cute together. I love their dynamic. Me, Sarah, I love their dynamic. Um, and I think Max does come around. I think once Max finds out that there's actual love there, that this isn't just some dumb little like booty call thing, I think she's like rooting for it. I think she's like two of my favorite people now together. That's what a, like, what a beautiful thing. And yeah, also absolutely. Max's biggest thing is love. She loves love. So if she sees love, she's rooting for it. <laughs> she she does. I loved the scene with you guys in the hallway where Ginny and Max do finally make up because it felt true to me of like two teen girls screaming at each other and calling each other names and then getting there and being like, wait, we, we just, this is all coming because we care so much. So tell me a little bit about that scene. I felt like it was a great way for them to kind of move forward. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> remember that scene. Uh, that was one of the only times I got Tony to break character because the first time I did my impression of Marcus she like <laughs> could not keep it together which was really cute and great um yeah I think both of them got to speak their mind I think Ginny I love Ginny's whole monologue about I tried not to love your stupid brother but I do um I also love her line um you know you talk a lot but it's not all quality <laughs> like, <laughs> the funniest thing ever and I, I you know what I just love that Ginny's got some dramatic flair there too and it's like she's learned something from Max she's she's gotten to take a little bit of that with her and she's got her spunk and I mean that hug was more than Ginny and Max that was me and Tony getting excited about working together again and Aww. to share scenes the rest of the season was a true gift. Well, Max has her own love life going on, as always. Um, she struggles to get over Sophie, obviously. Finally kisses Silver. We're back at coffee with Sophie. What do you think she should do? Who are you rooting for? And what do you like about her love journey this season? Well, I have to give credit where credit is due. A first love is very meaningful, very hard to get over. And yes, Max is sad about it for eight episodes straight, okay? I would be too. It takes me a long time to get over people. Um, so I understand her pain. Um, and I also, my favorite thing is that when Sophie wants to be friends, Max has the strength to say, no, that's going to be very painful for me. I can't watch the person I'm in love with love other people and pretend it doesn't kill me inside. So that was like a moment that I was very, very proud of her for. Um, Silver's amazing. Silver is someone who sees Max for exactly who she is. Dramatic, crazy, loving, a bit, you know, blind to other people's <laughs> pain and issues. Um, 
and likes her anyway, which I think is new for Max, because especially with the Max and Sophie dynamic, Max was more in it than Sophie. And I think for Max to have someone who's into her and who will actually return that love is a really beautiful thing to feel for the first time. So in terms of what I want for Max, I want her to give the love that she gives everyone else to herself. I Aww. think she needs that self-love because I think ultimately that's what's going to make her the most free. Um, but I do love Silver. Yes. I love them good. all. Such great people. <laughs> great people. You're it's great. It's great. I like, it's a good, it's a nice slow burn too. Like I like that. It's not, she doesn't jump into anything. It's very sweet. Um, Marcus, obviously they got their own brother, sister dynamic going on. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like this season, maybe even more than the last one, really they're for each other. Marcus goes through a lot of his own stuff. What is it like to play those scenes? And what do you think is the biggest takeaway with that dynamic? Yeah, I think, um, Felix always says this and he puts it so elegantly. Um, all of our bickering really does come from a place of love. It's like, we know how to push each other's buttons, but if anyone else pushed our buttons, we'd be pissed. Like, <laughs> you don't get to bully my sibling. I get to bully my sibling. Fair. Um, I loved learning more about that dynamic this year. I mean, obviously we get in there and we're in the set and then it comes to life on its own. And I. I remember a couple days where it was just me and Felix doing scenes like that all day. And like, we just learned so much about both of our characters. Um, yeah, I love how much they share with each other. I love how well they know each other. I love that Max will drop anything to be there for Marcus. And I love that Marcus is the one to set Max in her place and like boost her up when she thinks she's lost her mojo. That's a very sibling thing. I think they're secretly each other's best friends. Oh, did you have one moment reading the script, whether it was for Max or another character that was your biggest, oh my God, or is there just too many? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, um, I was reading episode eight and read all of a sudden that Georgia had killed Tom. And I was like, Wh what? And I went back and I was like, what? And it made no sense to me. And I was like texting people. and I was like, wait, what? Like, no, this makes no sense episode nine explained it, but I actually was like, just like in my bed. And then I was like, <laughs> that was my biggest OMG moment for sure. I, I did the same thing watching. I went back. I was like, okay, I wasn't paying attention. What's going on? Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite pop culture reference this season? I did love Max's, this isn't euphoria. Your New York housewives drunk. She has a Pete Davidson mention. What do you have a favorite? I think the Pete Davidson one is really funny between you yeah. and Pete Davidson. Straight women really confuse me. <laughs> so good. Um, I love the Euphoria reference. I also love, they threw in a Survivor reference at one point, which is hilarious because our whole cast is like obsessed with Survivor and like we would have Survivor parties and like mm -hmm. watch it together. Um, so it's cute that that made it in. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.